Uh, uh, sorry, Joe, you go. You go. No, no, you. I, I was gonna ask you. Uh, so I, so I'm gonna take you. I'm not gonna take too long, but I'm gonna take you through a brief description of my recruiting process. So when I was being recruited, I narrowed it down to three schools. Actually, first of all, so for those of you who don't know, I had to hit my last two years of high school and club, um, because we had no hitters, and I was like, all right, frick it, I'll do it. So I hit, and USC actually recruited me as a hitter. Fun fact. And they go, I was like, you want me as a hitter? And they're like, yeah. I was like, uh, but USC is just definitely not a fit for me. Here's a fun fact there. So I narrowed down to three schools. I narrowed down to BYU, Hawaii, and UCLA. My And, and that's how I went my visits. I went to BYU first, then UCLA, and then Hawaii. I go to BYU. BYU was actually my favorite visit. My favorite and my best visit. Because Utah's my favorite state. Like, I'm not, I'm not, obviously there's a heavy Mormon culture there. I'm not Mormon at all, where you don't come from there, but my family um, we have a lot of family in Utah. My parents are alma maters of Utah. I just love it. It's a great state. Clean, crisp air. Phenomenal mountain range. Great yeah. food as well. Um, then it's a you, nice state, man. Very, very nice. And then, so I go to BYU, but and then they do. They took me to the Brazilian Steakhouse. They load me up. They, they were, they were, they knew what they were doing. They're very, very smart. But the whole match mm-hmm. with probably the religion aspect of things, and just my parents were just being anti BYU our whole lives, just because. Um, just because Utah and all that, uh, and, and, and that jazz, the, the rivals. And my dad, I kid you not, they take us to a BYU g- football game. My dad comes in all Utah to the game. And I remember a one guy, on my recruiting <laughs> visit, on my recruiting visit, and then one guy just looks at me and is like, you got to be kidding me, like a fan. My dad's like, nope. <laughs> so then, listen to this. So then that was That's my favorite visit. And g- yeah, exactly, exactly. And, that's my, and that was my you favorite trip. You can know trip. everything about Everything you need to know about him, you can know if you if you're that fan and you see him wearing that. Hundred percent, hundred percent, die hard for sure. So BYU was my favorite visit, but in the back of my mind, I always knew that I was like, you know what, just because like like I said, the religious aspect and like and like the BYU and like the Utah BYU and stuff like that, it just it just wouldn't have worked out between us two, right? Great program, nothing against them. So then. I go, so that was my favorite visit. So then I go to UCLA. And it's funny because Utah's in the Pac-12 with UCLA football, right? And what you do on a recruiting visit, they take you to a football game or, or any event, I guess, you want to go to. And we specific, my dad's like, you got to go here. You got to go here. Because Utah was playing <laughs> at UCLA that weekend, right? So then I go to UCLA. And the I trip knew, just turns out to be a trip for your dad oh, to watch a yeah, football game. Exa- oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes, it, it his gets, free tickets to go watch Utah oh. at every school that you can possibly do a recruiting trip to. Dude. He's like, oh, Ohio State plays Utah. You're going to go. We're going to go to a recruiting trip to Ohio State. Dude, it, he, like, it, asked for He's dragging you along. Recruit- he's dragging. Gage is like, I do not want to go. Dude. Like, and he goes to schools. He doesn't even play the sport. He just is going yeah, to exactly. school. <laughs> like, I didn't know Arizona State on a volleyball team. He's like, club club volleyball. They're, they're paying for your recruit. They're, they're, really, they're really excited to have you. <laughs> Dude, it gets better than that. Right? So I go to UCLA, and I knew it would be in between UCLA and Hawaii. Those are my top. I knew it would be between those guys. Uh, Micah, you hosted me. I had an oh, awesome trip. It was a great trip, right? Um, I helped you. I remember Just partying my, like crazy. Th- no, they were partying. I remember like I remember the other recruits were doing like twenty one shots, and I'm there with Micah, and I'm twenty one shots. Twenty one shots, and then they consumed other alcohol as well. And me and Micah are working on his essay in the corner <laughs> of this like kickback. <laughs> Um, so we were just talking. So it, that's th- right. We were doing our yes, essay. your essay, not my essay. Essay. <laughs> no, well, that became our essay. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. Come so on, then, I gotta give some credit. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so so, so we finished and we were just basically doing that and it was just kind of it just turned into me and you just kind of talking about things right like the whole time of time, right? So I had a great time, and then we go and they take us to the football game and my dad comes in all Utah again when they're playing UCLA, and we go into the players tent meeting where all the athletes UCLA I guess you guys have this all the student athletes you guys go to. It's like you guys have food and stuff. They, you take me there with Brad Keller, and my dad's in all Utah and a UCLA fan base, right? So he's showing up there. And I remember Dylan Misery just taps me because my dad was a little farther back. He's like, like, excuse my profanity, profanity here. He's like, who the fuck is this guy right here? <laughs> to my dad. I'm like, yeah, that's actually uh, my dad right there. Um, and then so and then so we get in the game. You didn't and, know and your dad. You didn't listen, know what your dad looked like. I guess not. Dude, we get into the game, and my dad's like, all right, I'll see you. I'm like, where are you going? 
It's like, I'm going to go sit in the Utah fan section. <laughs> so he goes to the Utah fan section and he sits there with my mom. And then at the end, it was like, at the end, I go by them. Like when everyone was starting to leave and I just go by them and sit by them. And in the back of my mind, I was like, how can I turn down UCLA? And this is when I went to Hawaii. Hawaii was my worst visit out of the three by far not even close <laughs> i'm not even like not even close and partially could have been for my fault too right so i go in i go into hawaii and i come in with these questions right because out of any of the schools i had the most insight because i knew more of the alumni out of hawaii and i had joe a brother on the yeah. team and i had other friends on yeah. the team right so then yeah. so i go and i'm like okay so how is it and i really so at this time I, I always played up two years up, and Joe had left, and all those guys had left. So I kind of, especially on my last year, the, the year after Joe left, I still had a pretty good team. But the year after that, dude, our team was not good at all. And 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 I was just tired of it. Like I was just like, I don't want to be left behind again. Like because I knew I don't want to just be Joe's years good and then below and then like you know what I'm saying I don't want to be left behind because that's what it had yeah. been pretty much my whole like like. A lot of my career, right? You want like, four years. Yeah, you want right. a good four years. hundred percent. And UCLA, you guys bring in the top recruits those years, like a bunch of them too, right? So I come in with a list of five questions to Hawaii. Now, this is where I felt there's a few times I didn't cross the line. There's a few times I did cross the line, right? So what they do in those <laughs> meetings, <laughs> let, yeah, it, I, I hear I hear crap from it every, every time from Milan. So what they do is they take you into a meeting, right? They say, okay, we're going to offer you blank amount or something like that or i mean or they say we're not gonna well i'm lucky enough to receive a partial scholarship so we go into the room and i have these five questions written down it's me my mom josh walker milan and charlie so we get in the room and the first i remember the first question i just start asking I'm like so i remember this is when Char this is when i was like i was like i asked charlie i was like so who else are you recruiting in my in my age and for some reason Charlie got super, super defensive, and he just like, why would you like ask that question? And I was like, wait, what? Like, why are you? Why is that such a big deal? Like, I just want to know who's in yeah. my class. You know what I'm saying? It's like I've never had anyone ask me that question. So it started, didn't start really? off on a, yeah, yeah, and it did not start off on a great foot. Or he said, like but there's yeah. no way nobody's yes. ever asked that, dude. Before. That's what I'm saying. He's like, and he was like, he like, who's that, like, that, that's a completely normal question. 100. You want to know who you're gonna be playing with? Yes, and he was super, super offended from that. And then, okay. Now, this is where I crossed the line. So I had a friend named Co uh, Kobe Kanatake, who was the ex-Libero there, right? Yes. He actually coached at Pack Rim for one year, my dad's club. He came to San Francisco and, and coached there. And so we were talking, and he's like, yeah. like." And then, I don't know, like I may have misinterpreted it, but a, a big thing that I heard from other people is like, yeah, they don't like work on like serve receive or anything like that, right? Now, <laughs> listen, listen. I have been here for, this is my fourth year. Hawaii does a phenomenal job with serve receive. <laughs> I did not know that at the time, right? I was just kind of just like, I, I'll admit that was I crossed the line in this next question, and I was just stupid. And I was just like this. Your stuck mom up kid. didn't like your mom didn't my, proofread my your questions. They That's did. Gotta, Th she's got to know. They did. I know, and a hundred percent. And I felt like this is where I crossed the line. And I asked, I was like, so I heard like, is there a lot of like serve receive going on? Because I heard like maybe not. And then from like other people, and then <laughs> Milan literally <laughs> goes off on me in my recruiting visit like you spit on me you spit on my coaching just stuff like that and i was like like what i'm asking like, no like yes way. and charlie gets <laughs> mad at me and we're literally like you could hear oh my you could gosh. hear all the way across like from like the other side like and you went there yes listen it gets better it gets better bro it gets better. are you kidding me i would have never went. i'm not i'm not i i am not even kidding you right now dude so, so now, it's hostile in the room, and so I'm I'm there, and it's just not great, and basically. Here. And, and at this point, you're like, it gets better. I got three more questions. Yeah, here, wait, give me a second. Give me a <laughs> second. Those are the, those are the <laughs> first two. They're like these are those are only the first two. I'm getting warmed up. I got three more. Yeah, give me a second. Sorry, I have to put a new battery in. Don't worry, I'll cut this part out. I'll cut this part out. This is. Uh, I just had to put a new battery in here. Okay. Okay. All right. So like I said, so now it's hostile in the room. And so I asked my next question. Some I don't remember all my questions, but I remember something along the lines of like, oh, like what else? Like here was the life here. Like again, like who are you bringing in? Like so I know that I'm not like by myself. You know, just like cruising here. 
So then it yeah. gets more hostile, and then we just leave the room. Apparently, Colton Cowell was three or four door, doors in there, and he could hear, like, damn near like a screaming match. And then so so at the t- – and this is my recruiting visit. So at the time – And what's your mom say? My mom – it was just completely silent. It was, they were just completely – it was just me and the coaches just talking. What would she say after? She's like, we're so then, So here. listen to this. So then my mom – because Josh Walker escorts all, like, the um, the people, all the uh, recruits, the okay, parents. Yeah. Cause my, my, pa- my parents went on every recruit, and I, and I 100% agree that they should because um, – they're the ones paying the bills and stuff. Like they have, they they should be on the trip because I mean, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? So they're like they should and they should see for their first hand. You know that makes sure. And then I mean it's their kid too, so I get it. And they're really involved. Yeah, and they are knowledgeable and we're kids. Right, right. I mean some parents cross the line for sure. Like don't get me wrong. There's some parents like what the like. Anyway, anyway. So then, so then Hawaii had a uh, uh, the versus UC Irvine. You guys had a preseason game because this was in the, this is around December ish, early December. So I remember going mm-hmm. there, and I was, like, courtside. No one else was really there. And I just remember, like, literally sitting, like, with my arms, like, slumped, like, on the, like, the table. And I just kept thinking to myself, how could I turn down UCLA? Like, how could I turn that, like, opportunity down? No, I was not really worried about the prestigiousness of UCLA. It was more, like, the 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 team, all that other stuff, like, the, like all that. Um, and the national team coach being there. And the national team coach being there, and my recruits being my age being there, and all this other stuff. And later, I remember mm-hmm. Josh, and then when my mom, because I was staying with Joe and my parents staying at a hotel, Josh was like, finally said, like, yeah, we don't have anyone else in your age group that we're looking at. Dude, I'm not kidding you. I pull, I am the only recruit. You look, I am the only recruit out of my age, okay, out of my age group. The rest, three were like tryout walk-ons. One was my homeboy, Max, who's a beast now. One was Jake Myers, or I like to call him Jewel Myers, who now attends Colorado Boulder. And Nate Young, aka Silent Wang, who is at uh, who's at USC right now. Um, so only one stay on the team, and he had to try out, and he made it. Right, Max. Uh, how did we not get you or your brother, man? dude? Dude, yeah. So then I remember I was like, how do I this turn down incredible. UCLA? How did I how did I turn down UCLA? It was it was like it was like I was like, how do I do that? I'm shaking I kept my head my in dad. disappointment right now. I know. So then and then so Joe after the match, the Joe next day, really did some magic yeah, on you. Joe comes, he's like, dude, I like I get Joe. it, like, dude. But listen, <laughs> to this. oh, I forgot to say this. Joe, I am so pissed at you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm listen, so pissed at you. But but listen, oh my about. gosh, bro. I remember my first time meeting with Charlie, bro. I'm not kidding you. He tried to he gave off this kind of. I'm not trying to like back talk Charlie. I, it was the best decision of my life that I went to Hawaii. I love Charlie. It just in the moment. I'm sure we could discuss this and have him on the show and he'd get his input on this. But <laughs> I'm not kidding you, dude. He comes up to me at nationals when he's first legally allowed to approach me my senior year. After the meeting, I was like. Wait a minute. He does this guy even want me? Because he came and approached me like I'm not kidding. Right, yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Because he approached me and then we were talking me and my mom and it was me and him and he was like he's like yeah we got a lot of liberos in the island like so he, it was kind of like I should be, I should be like mm-hmm. like uh, like not lucky but I should like be like yeah we right. normally don't do that like talk to liberos so we have a lot on the island right. And I was just like, uh, and, and I literally came off. He's like, yeah, if you want to come, like literally came off. Like he didn't want me. And then the next day, my mom, I didn't know. I was like, I was like, I literally turned to my mom after Charlie. I was like, does he want, like, what the hell was that? And then I turned to my, and then my mom, <laughs> what I don't know is we had to schedule a second meeting the next day, the next day at nationals, because my mom was like, like told Charlie, like, uh, I don't know what that was because Gage doesn't even know if you want him anymore. Like, what, like, so we had to schedule a next meeting the next day. So, so we go the next day. He's like, all right, look, like we want you. Like, I think he's trying to put up like the tough guy persona. I'm not really sure. Like, what was he going went on. solo, good cop, bad cop. Yeah, <laughs> he went solo. He didn't good have a, he didn't have a partner. <laughs> he just was like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna solo this good cop, bad cop. Watch this, dude. And then so so back to my recruiting visit. I go and then Joe's like, trust me, Gage. I know it didn't come off. Good, but this is where you want to go. And then remember, it also would added. The, the, <laughs> I don't go to parties at all, let alone crowded parties. I know we crowded. screamed, at you, we yelled at you. I know that we. <laughs> yeah. I know that we said we don't want you, but dude, dude. And dude, then no, and then and then the wor- not the worst part. What added on top of that was that Joe and the boys they all brought me to uh they all brought me to a to a party. And I'm not really like a big party guy. And it was a Halloween <laughs> party, so it was like super pre-corona super super like packed house college house i'm sweating 
balls. I don't know anyone. I'm not enjoying. The only good part about that is because we went to Safeway. We got a couple of DiGiorno's, went in some rando's kitchen, and started cooking in DiGiorno's in the middle of the party. And we ate that. DiGiorno's and then the oven, so good. Dude, yeah. The oven on top of that, on top of the heat that was, I did, just did not have a good time. Joe later, the last day, he's like, Gates, like, I get it. You got to come here. This is the best. I was like, I know, but like all this other stuff, all this other stuff. So, that, so two days later go by, I think about three days. I go to my mom's work. We kind of, we, she has a whiteboard. I was like, all right, I know where I got to go. In the back of my mind, I was like, you know what? I, I think I got to go to Hawaii. I got to fulfill that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I remember I called Charlie. I called Charlie and I'm like, uh, hey, Charlie. He's like, and he's like, oh, hey, guys. He's like, how are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm, I'm doing good, good coach i'm doing good i would just like to um uh like he was like casual I, I don't know if he was like expecting me to say no thank you but it was just like super casual and i just remember it was like he then and then i was like yeah i'd, I'd like to commit to university of hawaii and i just hear like oh what <laughs> like just kind of like scramble <laughs> like, and then, like, and then my, my think, good cup bad cup yeah. <laughs> like do i go <laughs> Uh, and then he goes, and, remember, and I just, and I, you, you follow that up with, that was the best recruiting pitch I had. Ever <laughs> you had me from the jump coach. <laughs> I remember, I swear he was walking because I just hear him just like walk faster. He's like, oh, I gotta, gotta, gotta do the, to get the papers ready. And I gotta go in. And I'm like, all right, coach. Well, thank you. He's like, I'll be in contact. And then we call, we end the call. I call Spira and I was like, Hey, I like, I don't know. And then I, I contact you, Mike. I was like, Hey, I just want to let you know. And you're like, and you were super chill. You're like, you know what? That's, uh, that's a bummer. And then, and then I told, and then I remember Brad Keller on my UCLA visit. He's like, do you guys like, is, would you go to Hawaii uh, because your brother? And I was like, no, no, not really. And now that's <laughs> the reason why. So I go up and I remember I was at a club tournament. I go up later. It was before the, the, the STVA one before nationals. I go up to Brad and, 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 uh, uh, John, and I thank them. I'm like, thank you very much. And then, uh, and then they're like, and they're like, so Brad asks, he's like, so why'd you do it? So why'd you commit? I was like. I was like, well, it's my brother. It's like, you son of a bitch. No, like, no, 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 no. like, you son of a bitch.